I've been working to protect uh, wild salmon from salmon farms for almost 30 years because uh, they're destroying this environment. They're interrupting the migrations. They're bathing these fish in disease. Wild salmon uh, are the bloodstream of this coast. So if salmon farms remain here, um, this coast is going to die. So I've tried just about everything, science, activism, gone to Norway, gone to the AGMs. And on May 23rd, Paul Watson posted on Facebook that he was sending me a ship, a research vessel, Martin Sheen, 81-foot vessel. I thought about it for a couple of days, and then I realized, yes, because I've tried everything, and it hasn't worked. And the Martin Sheen, and Sea Shepherd in particular, carries eyes from around the world. And people know that if Sea Shepherd shows up, it's serious. So I quickly began to cobble together a plan, and I, I had three objectives. And one was to do science, so um, survey the whole coast for a virus, Piscine Rio virus, that's why it's called Operation Virus Hunter. Take the boat to First Nations so that they could come on board and speak in their own voice and the world could hear what they had to say about the salmon farms in their territory. And I wanted to really look hard at these farms. I mean, I've been going up to these farms in my little speedboat for years. Imagine, now I'm coming with a ship. I learned things I have, I've never known. I've, I learned that herring have become addicts and they're, they're eating the food from these farms, interrupting their migration, bathing them in pathogens. And I got on a farm and put an underwater camera in there and saw that the fish are sick. I mean, a lot of them are sick and that there's wild fish in there. Working with the crew of Sea Shepherd was just really one of the great joys of my life. I mean, 50 days on this boat and uh, it, everything went so smoothly. I really want to thank Paul Watson for sending this boat because I believe now, finally, we're going to get salmon farms off of a huge part of this coast. I don't think the industry is going to be able to survive that. While so many of us have worked at this and I have put everything I have, you know, I have and am into this, I think this is going to make all the difference.